Here's a quick overview of the new Fiery Image Viewer features that help you minimize waste and ensure that every print is sellable. First, let's look at two features that allow you to see precise locations of various page objects. You can now more easily view the imageable area of a sheet. Here, you see the non-imageable area of this sheet highlighted in black, and it's even easier to see when I zoom in. So everything in the black area is non-imageable. You can toggle this off and on under View, and you can change the color of the non-imageable area under Image Viewer Preferences. So you can make sure that all page content appears within the imageable area of the sheet. We've also made it easier to see precisely where content appears on a page. In Fiery Command Workstation 6.7, we added a ruler and measure tool. Now we've added ruler guidelines. You can see horizontal guidelines, vertical guidelines, and you can even drag crosshairs down from the upper left corner to a precise location. Here, I'll use these to see exactly how far the crop marks of this imposed file are from the edge of the page. This is especially helpful for something like offline finishing, where I need to ensure marks are in a very specific location. There's also some usability improvements to make it easier to use color curves. For years, users have been requesting that we show the curve list in alphabetical order, and I'm happy to say that we've delivered on that request. So both the default curves and the user-created curves appear in alphabetical order. And if I make a new curve, you see it appears in the proper place on the list. And the All Channels view is now the default view in Color Adjust. This makes it quicker to adjust all available channels simultaneously, though you can still go in and edit the individual channels as well.